Hi, and welcome to Bears and Games. Today we're talking about the gayest 16 bit games that aren't Choaniki. By 16 bit, we mean Sega Genesis, TurboGrafx 16, and of course, everyone's favorite, uh, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, not including the Neo Geo, because first of all, I want to do an SNK episode later, and second of all, who knows how many bits that thing had. Now, Choaniki isn't. Uh, Hold on, that makes me want to play Target Earth. But uh, Choniki isn't included because it would win by default. It is uh, a series of games that range from this fighting game to side-scrolling shooters that start out, I think, on the TurboGrafx-16 or Super Nintendo. Anyway, in this era, and they have, are still making games today. They've uh, never been released in the States, except, of course, for the... I think the Virtual Console actually released uh, this version of Choniki which, as you can see, is extremely gay. It's that uh, other Japanese form of gay, the sort of muscle-bound, bodybuilder stereotype gay. And this game celebrates that. The two characters are named after uh, gay bear magazines over in Japan. So they are very much embracing the Japanese gay culture. But uh, the first game we're going to talk about today is Golden Axe for the Sega Genesis. This uh, title screen was pretty freaking impressive uh, back in 1989. And uh, this game has a lot of good memories for me. You can be the big gay barbarian guy, the uh, Sonya type uh, barbarian woman, or the dwarf Gilius uh, Thunderhead, uh, who will live in infamy uh, between me and my friends. It's a side-scrolling sort of hack and slash game. They sort of give you some reason why you're doing it. And uh, you beat up people like these guys. You also steal... Uh, some kind of lizardy chicken thing, uh, sort of like Grand Theft Auto, only not. And you beat up women, which uh, you'll see a lot of in this uh, this series. Uh, it's not really a gay game. I would say it's number five for the reason that it's not actually all that gay. It just has these uh, big burly bear men uh, who I quite like and uh, liked a lot even as a uh, preteen, which sort of brings me to why I included this in the uh, the series. It's um, also a great way to burn people and throw fireballs at women if, if you want to do that. Uh, it does have these really annoying scenes where all your magic is stolen by these little elf jerks and uh, also it has you riding on the back of a turtle which is in an entire level. And then you beat up more of these really hot tall bear guys who I guess are giants and probably should be considered hot but uh, hey I was 11 didn't have any bear porn. You know how it is. Um, and then you have uh, the Golden Axe 2 cover, which I'm looking at through uh, the uh, Sega Genesis collection. Now, you'll notice something about uh, Mr. Thunderhead here. Although some people like the Barbarian better. I think uh, our group might notice more. He has a giant crotch. And when you have no access to pornography, and there's this muscular, bearded guy in this weirdly skin-tight uh, chainmail. Well, I think you can figure this one out. Uh, Golden Axe 3 was never actually released in uh, North America. It has that guy over here who, although the bad art might fool you, actually is kind of a hot, big muscle bear character. Um, well, I'll show you him for a minute because you still have Barbarian Guy and some kind of prehistoric Speedo. I don't know how he got that. You also have uh, a cat man for the furries out there. Sonya's back. You can't play as uh, Mr. Thunderhead this time, but you can play as... Uh, I don't know his name, Big Hair, McGee, the uh, super muscular barbarian guy. And he's uh, one of those, you know, slow but very strong characters that can take a lot of damage. But Gold Next 3, I, I wouldn't actually recommend it unless you can get it for free. It's, I wouldn't download it off Virtual Console because it's really not worth the money. If you did want to play it, I'd say get the Sonic Sega Genesis Mega Gems collection or Sonic's Genesis collection. Oh, well you can see Burly McGee here looks pretty good when he uses magic, but uh, yeah, the only reason I would really include this game in the list of top five gayest games is more for the Boris Vallejo style art, which is kind of nice. And uh, yeah, the Burly Men, Speedos, and the Big Tall Bear guys. That's it. Oh.